Special guest, my little girl Karina Marie, she uh, just turned five. Take your kids to work day. Let's go 80 degrees. Forward, 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 forward. Stop, engage. Okay, we are at 80 pounds, go back. Get that lower back nice and warm. All right, so you guys, today, or last week, we did back. And, uh, and in that video, we talked about Joe's goals for me based on, you know, bodybuilding aesthetics. So today, we're gonna do a workout. Ready? Get a password. Password, okay, Let's see if it's one, two, three, four. So just going, going back to what we were saying, right, we're gonna do a, a workout focused specific on my goals, which are? Wide back. Nice big wide back, right? So that's what we're going to Good really V-taper, V-taper is what we're looking at. Small waist, everybody wants a V-taper. V-taper. Great big back, really small, the illusion of a really small waist. All right, what do you want me to go on? Okay, so our goal here is you want to have failure between eight and 12 reps. So what Donna did right now in that exercise is he's working his lower back right here. You feel that? So Donna's working this and he's working this right now. He's warming it up so that he can go and do the heavier weights. 240. So Joe is challenging Dada. We need to fail between eight and 12. That's the purpose of this machine. You notice there's no cables. The weight's pushed up on all the medic stuff. little girl she's unfucking believable I just want to just want to give her everything that I'd ever had you know just push her and love her and guide her and lead her and be a role model and set an example so that she can impact make me look like you know is he still doing his abs done yeah just finished perfect freaking time let's roll I'm gonna be nice to you today we're gonna do a chin-up style pull because that's why this bar is here. So okay. grab it there. So here? Yep. Okay. Here. Okay, let yourself hang. All right. Pull. Ho, 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 this guy. Look at that freshness. Wow, that feels good. Feels heavy and good. It's the beginning. You're big right now. Huh? You look big right now. Yeah. You look like a bodybuilder. People that look at your channel and go, whoa, this guy doesn't look anything like it. They would think you're a bodybuilder. Yeah. You are falling in that realm. Yeah. Just saying. Right. I've seen, I watched the old stuff. I've seen it now and I was like, whoa. Yeah. You look like one of us or everybody else but me. I'm retired. Why did we start there necessarily? Any specific reason? For one, we did this last time and you were too weak. So the main reason is because we wanted to do it stronger to get a better stretch out of it. And that's why. Yep. There was no specific reason but other than the fact that we did it last. Yes. And now we did it first. Malfunction. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Good thing your foot was on there. So is there a specific protocol for somebody, let's say they've been working out for six months to a year, understand it well, don't really have any strategy behind their, their workouts, would you say go supinated, pronated, wider, closer to start back? Basics are you do your lower back for your warm-up at all times. So get that core in your trunk nice and warm. So your CNS is firing. And then second, always do a wide grip. A wide grip, work your way wide, palms facing in, and then you'd work your way down narrow, depending on what your goal is. Again, but it's always wide first. So there you go, stretch. So, on your next set, I want you to hold it like this. Okay, outside? This way, like that. Right inside? Yeah. So you're gonna pull like this. That's it, right there. Get that. Yeah, now that's it. You're a fucking beast, Mike. <laughs> and we're actually going back and forth. So, Last one was like this. This one we're going back wide. Is it just the angle? No, dude, that's the way you look. <laughs> October 8th. And now look at him. Do you think I gained that much fat? At least five pounds of fat. 
because there's no way it's all lean mass. And then a little bit of water. So and that's if you go one to one to one. That just means you're a genetic freak and you are highly anabolic. <sighs> and to put your body in that state, very few people can do. Nice. <sighs> Come on. Squeeze. <sighs> you know that you changed my life? Do you? Are you sure? Not how much, but you don't know how much. When she was still in Mama's belly, I was still cocaine addict, ecstasy, warring up. Because of her, because I found out she was coming, that I even decided to make a change. All right. Good stretch. Pull up. There you go. Drive your elbows back up into your lap. Good. Come on. Keep your chin up. Stretch. Oh, 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 that's it. ain't going up no more. It's where you stop. Come on. Little victories, Mikey. Let's go. Elbows out. You did elbows in on the last row, so this is going to be elbows out. Where's the best head position for this exercise? Straight ahead, looking right at it. All right. Your neck has to be in a neutral position. Okay. Remember, your muscles don't know weight, only knows tension. Right. So the thing is that you're making the most of it. Well, and every time, so like if I'm doing shoulders and I want to work this little thing right back in here, the that's the little thing. Whether I'm hitting that exact little thing or not, I'm thinking about that little thing. Right? I'm like, just focused on that little detail. A mind muscle contraction. <sighs> so January 1st is when we make our full assessment because everything you've incorporated till now, we're going to know on how your body looks, whether it was a yay, nay, what did it, what needs to be improved, and then we're gonna develop the plan and your protocol. So your splits was gonna be important. It works, I mean, for what you've been doing, it works. Yeah. But I wanna make it so it's foolproof at this point. And he will kick some ass. Let's do a converging right now. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. All right, so that's it. Come on, open, open. Mm. That's it. Ooh. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right there. Ooh. One more. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. <sighs> Impressing myself. With the gains. <laughs> High five. Thanks. All right. She's yeah. going to be taller than you, just so you know. For sure. All right, so what we have been doing and getting lots of really good feedback, a QA at the end. My daughter came to work out with me today, so maybe uh, she'll answer one or two of the questions. I don't know if you see her over there. She's doing buys and tries today. Is bicep and tricep today for you? Let's go. First question. How would you recommend boost? Boost. All right, boost, for, the, for those of you that don't know, is a metabolic driver, a.k.a. fat burner, to really bring it down to its purest form, but it's eight specific herbs, again, found in nature. And the feedback, oh my gosh, have you seen the feedback that's coming through? People are sweating more, they're feeling it. You're the one who told me, you're like, Michael, I really feel it. It's hard for me. Um, coffee and caffeine doesn't hit me. Um, I'm not very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sensitive to it, right? So it takes a lot to really jolt me. So for me, I'm not feeling the, those effects, but people are feeling more energy. They're plowing through their workouts. They're sweating more. So I love it. I knew it was going to work. I knew it was going to be great because of the formula and because of the, the herbs that we use in it. Getting to the question, how do I take it? So I am playing around with the dosing right now myself to sort of see what works for me. And the first thing I want to say is anytime you are choosing to take a supplement, sometimes there's parameters and sometimes there's an AM and a PM dose and sometimes it's better to take it with food and, and sometimes it's better to not take it with food. In this case, right, none of that is really relevant. You can take it on an empty stomach. You can take it with food. It's not going to affect you either way. Um, I've been playing around with the dosing specific to my schedule. So I usually train 
by about nine o'clock in the morning. So I wake up, I have my coffee with my MCT oil. It's organic coffee, by the way. And if you didn't get grind, make sure you go to the site and pick that up, a little subtle plug. And then I take my boost. So I'm fasted, I've taken my boost, then I go work out. And then I usually take a PM dose somewhere around or a little after lunchtime with my second dose of Thrive. So that's what I've been playing with. I've also been toying around with a third dose a little bit later. But again, play around with it. Ideally, you want to take it before one, at least one of the doses before your workout uh, to really feel the 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 uh, the, the raise in temperature, the body the body heat, the body temperature, which will allow you to sweat, um, which will you know motivate you during your workout. Who's dangerous to use in extreme heat, such as firefighter training and gear? So I would say no to that. Um, it's an all natural, like, there's eight specific herbs, right? And so, no, I would say it's fine to take it under those circumstances. I think under all circumstances, hydration is very important, whether you're a firefighter or you're an athlete or you're training. Hydration is, is really the cause of a lot of, of challenges when it comes to supplements. I think if you're properly hydrated, no matter what supplement you take, you're gonna be better off. How can I motivate myself to do, to work out? I love when I get this question because I want you to put yourself in the shoes of somebody that has no choice, that they can't even work out because they're too big, because they've made poor choice after poor choice after poor choice, and God forbid they're attached to an oxygen tank or some on some medicines that won't allow them to work out, or they've gained so much weight or their heart is, is, is gone to crap because of their bad choices, because they didn't work out enough. Ask them if they would like to get in the gym. Because while you're not motivated to get in the gym, there's people that have no choice. One second, honey. Listen what they asked me. I love you too, but listen what they asked me. They asked Dada, how do you stay motivated? Right? So I'm answering a very important question for somebody because somebody needs, somebody needs some motivation. Somebody needs some help to do what we did today and help exercise. Right, so what would you say to the person that is maybe having a little trouble exercising? What would you say to them? It's okay. It's okay? What else would you say to them? I would say you'll get better at it. You'll get better at it if you what? If you try. If you what? If you try your best and you work hard. If you try your best and you work hard, you'll get better at it? Yeah. What, what do we say instead of try? We choose. We choose, right? You choose? Yeah. So if you choose to get better, you'll probably get better? Hmm? But if you choose to not, then you don't get better. That's right. And so, and so at the end of the day, it's whose choice? Your and I, his, his. Yeah, it's all of our choices, right? Yeah. And so that person that asked, right? Motivation. Find the motivation within and understand that you can break it down into its simplest form. That it's just about moving every single day. That it's just about making a little bit better of a choice every single day. That it's the progressive oh. realization. Oh towards a healthier lifestyle. That's all it is. It's okay, baby. It's a progressive realization towards a healthier lifestyle. We're not trying to go zero to 60 today. We're just trying to go zero to two. Break it down and understand that if you don't get moving now, you may not be able to move later. And that won't be a choice. That will be because, you're, because your freedoms have been taken away from you because of your poor choices, because you didn't move when you could, because you didn't make better choices with nutrition. Do you recommend working out when you feel like you're getting sick? I think you should work out maybe for two minutes or less. Or they can just have a little bit of quiet or take a nap. Yeah, so I'm going to agree with you. I think that when you are not feeling good that you should rest. Oftentimes, when you're not feeling good, you're, it's your body's way of telling you to rest. And, and we're stubborn and I know exactly what it feels like to want to work out even when I rest because we think that progress is made in the gym when the reality is that the progress is made during rest, it's made during recovery, it's made in your nutrition and your supplements. It's not made here, right? And people think, oh my gosh, if I don't go to the gym, I'm going to lose gains. No, it doesn't work like that, right? Your body releases cortisol and other hormones, it's inflamed, and those trigger responses and usually that is in the form of illness. And when illness happens, it's saying, hey, slow down a little bit, rest a little bit, it's okay. That's my suggestion, rest. And if you have to do something, go for a, a light, brisk walk, do or, something, play with the kids, that kind of a thing. Or what? Or get some exercise or less two or minutes or two. Mm -hmm. Just make it short, right? Yeah, or you can make it wherever you want. Yeah, I like that too. All right, I love you. Should we say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Thanks for asking the questions.